Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received, more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Tiny's Tarot. So, I'm going to slap it down to holy water. <laughs> So good in the neighborhood, Pisces. So, you know what time it is. Mm -hmm. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. T. Dong, presiding. You can all keep laying down and massaging your bellies. <laughs> or your cat's belly, or your dog's belly, or your bunny's belly, or your lizard's bunny, or your snake's belly. But I uh, listen to me. I'm Don't listen to me. <laughs> So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy could be approaching you. It could be your own energy for all I know. Mm -hmm. Whatever the case is, we will get it, we will hit it, and we will quit it together like we always do, baby. Yeah. Let me straighten out my little kitty. Meow. Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Show me the energy. Okay. Cards are coming all out right here. Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. God. Show me the energy the person my beautiful. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, looks like we got a lot going on. We got 14 swords on the table today. Huh? Let me pull out my sword. Okay. All right, Pisces. Your person here. They got caught. Okay. They got caught up. Okay. I feel like this person intuitively knows that you're upset at them right now. Mm -hmm. You're upset at them. Because they tried to avoid you. But when they tried to avoid you, they had a wake-up call. Okay? There's something going on here. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person is possibly going to be reaching out, okay, to you. It looks like they want to reach out here to you. Okay? There's something they're desiring. Something they're moving away from. And they're, they feel attached to something here. Okay? So, what is this wake-up call this person had when they tried to avoid Pisces? What was this? Show me this wake-up call they had. Oh. They tried to avoid you, and they're like, oh. Shoot. I can't really avoid Pisces. I can't just avoid Pisces. Oh, man. They're confused. There's re there's reluctance here. There's reluctancy here as well. Okay. What is this person feeling so reluctant about? Okay. So they're like, I want to offer Pisces something. Oh, I don't know though. So right now, when they literally avoided you and made you mad, the wake up call was they were like, "Oh, I want to, I want to give Pisces something here." Okay, but they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. But that was their fourth thought. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, brother Pisces, these people, I swear. I don't know. 
Okay, we're going to get right down into this. Uh, we're going to go down over here to the Six of Swords. So where are they going towards now? This person's headed towards something. What are they headed towards? Okay. They're at that point where they're like, man, I really need to make a decision. I'm not happy with my life. I live in a stale apartment with a string of lights, two sticks, a uh, world, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 in le they're, this person's not happy, so they're at the point where they need to make a decision here, they're at the crossroads, so where are they going, so they're going, headed towards the crossroads, where are they going with this crossroads energy, where are they headed? They're strategizing this, though. So they're setting. They're waiting to make their next move. So this person's ready to make their next move. What is this person's next move they're ready to, to make? What is this next move they're going to make? What's this person's next move they're going to make, please? What's this next move? Okay. So if you guys have not been in contact, I feel like this person is going to reach out to you. And you're probably like, yeah, when pigs fly wings, Talia... Well, obviously, uh, the pig has shown up, and guess what? It's got wings. Yeah. So they're reaching out to you here. They're up in their fields. They are. They've been wondering what you've been doing, who you've been talking to, where your whereabouts are. Mm -hmm. They got love here for you. So this is their next move, is to reach out. Okay. So why they wanted to reach out to Pisces? Why? 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 Because they have been in a mental prison. What's this mental prison this person's been in? It's this mental prison. Yeah, they've been wanting to talk to you. They've been wanting to talk to you. Okay. All right. So what is this person wanting? Nine of Cups. Freedom. 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 They're wanting to free themselves from their heartbreak okay in order to uh, in order for something here powerful to happen so they're wanting to free themselves is this heartbreak over pisces please is this heartbreak over pisces please what is this yeah this is over you so they're heartbroken here okay so why are they heartbroken about pisces Probably because they seven swords. You why, why is this person heartbroken about Pisces? Why? Okay. Because they're not in a relationship with you. Okay. So what does this person feel so pulled and connected to? What do they feel? They feel really connected to their burdens. What is this person's burdens? It's their thoughts. What's this person's thoughts that bothers them? <laughs> their feelings of love bother them. It's heavy like a Chevy and they're thinking about it. This person is living rent free right now, Pisces, inside of their head. Uh huh. You're, I mean, you're in their head. And you're living there rent free. Mm hmm. They get up in the morning, they think about you, they go to the toilet, uh, they have their morning bowel movement, they're thinking about you, they're cooking lunch, they're thinking about you, they're trying to work to avoid thinking about you, and then they think about you, uh, they take a shower, then they're thinking about you in excess. Oh, yeah. They're eating dinner, they're trying to avoid all their thoughts, and they just can't avoid thinking about you. No, an ace of cups flew out as I'm talking. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we know they're getting ready to reach out to you with the Knight of Swords. So what's what's going on here, Knight of Swords? Oh, brother, but there's the devil. Oh, no. Why are they reaching out to Pisces with the devil energy? Devil energy. Oh, why are they reaching out? Okay. Oh, boy. But then they want to reach out. But then the devil says, 
No, don't reach out to Pisces. You're toxic. You tried to avoid Pisces. Pisces is figuring out what you're up to. You're not worthy of the Pisces. No. Just hold your little coin purse there and pretend that you're fine. Oh, my God. Pisces, these people. That gave me a mini headache, dudes. I ain't joking you. Mm -mm. All right. I'm going to grab the channeled messages. We're going to grab some channels. Mm -hmm. Okay. Channeled messages, please. Channeled messages. Channeled messages, please. Okay. I drink too much. There's that devil energy. I'm sick of this. There's that devil energy. Don't cry. Oh, well, trust me. Pisces is not going to cry over you. No. Pisces is done. Had enough of your devil energy. <laughs> oh, Pisces. I love you. Tarot's adjourned.